Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Twin Motion 2021 is finally out and today we're going to take a look at some of the cool updates and features that you can now get with this and also a huge set of improvements that now comes with this one. So the folks at Epic Games have finally released this version and it's just super awesome with the quality of life improvements that it comes with. So first off, we're going to dive directly into Twin Motion 2021 and also do a simple comparison with Twin Motion 2020 so that you guys can take a look and see some of this improvement and see how you can leverage on these things and get good with it. So the very first thing which you'd notice once you open up Twin Motion 2021.1 is the overlaid navigation guide. So this would help anyone that is getting started with Twin Motion to know how to move around this. And if you want to change this to a preferred shortcut key, you know, type that you already used to, if you click on the gear icon, you can switch from Rhino, SketchUp, Cinema 4, the Akika, 3D Studio Max, Revit, or Unreal Engine. And while we speak about these things, right now you have more ways to interact with your Twinmotion project than ever before. So in previous versions of Twinmotion, you could interact with your project by simply using either your keyboard and your mouse, or you can interact with them by using VR. So the folks at Epic Games are expanding on how you can interact with this by adding a support for both game controllers and also touch device and yes game controllers are now supported for twin motion and for sure we're going to go through and take a look at how that works and once you also go over to this section as well you would notice that we have the push to cloud so the folks at epic games are doing an early access testing for those who want to send their project as presentation files to the cloud so all you need to do is just get an epic games account and you need to sign in and once you sign in it talks to the server and automatically queues this and it starts sending it over to the cloud if you would like to open the presenter in the cloud you can click on open presenter in cloud and if you'd like to cancel this you can simply click on cancel all and it will go through and cancel all of this now this is one cool feature that would help you in terms of memory saving just in case you don't want to have so many things stored on your pc and you would like to have these things stored on the cloud now one thing to also keep in mind is the cloud storage or the cloud presenter file is only supported for two gig of data so if you have way more than two gig of data unfortunately that might not be something that you can use another cool ui update that you'd also notice is the font type which actually correlates with what you can get with unreal engine so it's looking more on real engine like once you look at the font type and you can actually tell because if you go over to sections like this you can notice that this is more bold compared to what you have in twinmotion 2020 or you know other versions and you notice that these ones are all in title cases while these ones are all in capital letters now while we talk about the differences there's a couple of significant differences between twinmotion 2021.1 and also the previously released twinmotion 2020.2 so first things first is right over here you would notice that you can use this button to go full screen and on the other hand you can also notice that we have the eye icon here that once you click it you have a long drop down menu and within this drop down menu if you click over here you can choose to hide the navigation tip you know overlay stuff and you can also click right over here to control how you want the movement of your camera or your flight through to look like some other thing which you would notice is we have a button here which you can use to take screenshots and if you click on this button we have the time of date meanwhile in twinmotion 2020.2 you notice we have this you know once you click on this button you have this big hole button right here which you can use this to turn things on and you know take some pictures move around and you can also notice that we have this one set like this now i don't really know if i'm a huge fan for this particular one or for this new one that is here i just sort of feel that maybe this should be a bit more compact compared to what we have so with this said there's also a couple more differences and one of the huge difference that you would notice regardless of the things that you find in your library and also the cool library set of tools one of the huge difference you would notice is the folks at epic games have invested a lot of time on how lighting interacts with your model overall and what i mean by this is if you open up twin motion 2020.2 you click right here go over to time of day and you move this all the way from what we have here which is 2358 59 move this all the way like so you would notice that we had a quick bloom effect and then we had 
you know, this flat sort of color and over time we start getting the exposure and things start settling down and you know, it goes on and on and on and on like this. And in reality, once it's 12 midnight, you'd never have anything looking like this. Now this would cost you a lot of time because you have to go in, start tweaking these and try to make sure that you have the right exposures and stuff like that. And this is something that they've looked at and they've addressed. So two things that they've addressed is first of all, having the accurate lighting that you need. So if we move this all the way from here, all the way to this part, you would notice that it still maintains that consistency in terms of the lighting. This is what you get for 12 AM. And once you move this all the way down, you would notice that there's this strong consistency as you move through. So the whole blooming effect and you know, unnecessary exposure adjustment doesn't exist with the new version. So with this said, if we also go ahead and take a look at the library, there's a couple of updates that you can now get with the library. Now, these things that you'll be getting with the library are quite interesting as the folks at Epic Games have increased the library assets that you can get. But then there are three major things that you would notice within the library section. The first one is the favorite button and the next one is quick sale mega scan, which is huge. And then you notice that we have the search. Now quick sale mega scan is now part of twin motion, which simply means that there's a huge integration and a heavy one at that with twin motion. And for the most part, for those who like to take advantage of the quick sale mega scan, maybe you want to download 3D assets or surface assets that deals with textures. You can now take advantage of the scans that you can get from quick sale and and use them directly in twin motion so if you go over to the 3d section and you're looking for things like building interiors nature industry food street and also props you can simply search for these things now for you to download anything you need to sign in to your epic games account so for you to sign in you need to go over to file go all the way down to where you have sign in to epic games and that way you will be able to sign in and once you sign in you can hit on the download button and start downloading these things now for those who would like to favorite this stuff if you click on the small love sign which is by the side of all the assets that you'll be getting within your library section you can actually favorite these things this way you can gather all of your favorite tools and also assets in one place so once you click on the love sign you will be able to see all of the favorite tools that you have and this deals with both materials, these are props, and also textures and so on and so forth. And speaking about finding your most loved tools within Twinmotion, the search bar is also something very impressive. So let's say for example, you're trying to find something in Twinmotion. And by default, if we're looking for a table, we need to go over to objects and within objects, we need to go over to home. And when we go over to home, we need to go over to living room and you know, it becomes a nightmare now what the search bar does for you is you can now search for things based off tags so if we type in the word table for example and press the enter key it's going to go through all of the things that we have within our library and set out all of the tables that we have so at this point you can now see all of the tables that exist with Twinmotion and this would save you time meanwhile once you scroll all the way down as well you start noticing that we have a couple of things that also has the tag that deals with table so things like statues that stays on the table props and materials all of these things would fall under the tag table so you can search for as much things as you want and these things are not just searching within your local pc these things are also searching alongside with the online quicksell library that you have access to so if you find any of these ones let's say you want to download this quicksell asset you can just simply click on the download button and start downloading that or you can simply just write it and while we talk about assets and also talk about the cooler things that you can do with them the vegetation now has a pretty cool set of assets that comes with it so there's a couple more assets that you can now get within the vegetation so if you go over to the tree section you would notice that you have a couple more all right so they've actually increased the number of things they have and by the way you can now click and drag this so just in case you want to see them a bit more at any point you go over to any of the vegetations that you have you can actually play with the tint and this tint deals with the tint color for the leaf and also for the back so just in case you know you want to change how this thing looks you want to change how it feels you can play with the tint color and do the most and this doesn't stop you from working with both the season the growth and all of the cool things that you have with the tree library and also the tree property so pretty cool things that can get you up to speed and you can use this to beautify your entire scene and actually tweak this to your heart content and while we talk about things that you can tweak to your heart content height map is now available with 
the material. So just in case you want to now use height map to drive how some certain forms of displacement would happen within your material, right now you can actually use the height map alongside the normal map that existed before. So how do you get into this? If you simply I drop any of these materials or you pick up a material and apply that material onto your model and you go over to your settings and from your settings you go to bump map and go to more, you will be able to notice that we have the height map and also the normal map. So at this point, if you have a height map and you want to use the height map to actually drive some things, you can use that. And at the same time, you also have the advantage of using the normal map alongside with it. So let's talk about some other cool updates. The folks at Epic Games have worked a lot on the Data Smith direct link. So the last time we looked at the direct link, we saw how you can send things from Revit over to Twinmotion and also from SketchUp to Twinmotion. And it's very interesting to see that right now with the brand new Twinmotion direct link set of plugins that will be coming and that is actually available for Revit, you can now sync multiple files simultaneously directly from Revit over to Twinmotion. And this in its sense is going to help speed and also improve how you work. Although currently this is only supported for Revit, there's a huge possibility that this would come over to both SketchUp and also other 3D softwares as well. Meanwhile, there's a huge file handling improvement that is also available for Twinmotion. The last time we talked about Twinmotion, we did say that you can actually move things from Twinmotion to Unreal Engine. And right now, this is something that is very, very possible. A new plugin is now available, which you can actually download. So I'm also going to put a link in the description where you will be able to download this new Twinmotion importer. Of course, we've talked about this. We've looked at it. You can now download this Twinmotion importer and you can use it to import your files directly in Unreal Engine and get the most out of it. And currently, this has some unsupported library assets. And for those who want to test this out, or maybe you want to see the video where we talked about how these things work, there's going to be a link to that in the description so you can take a look at it. There's also a confirmation that there's an optimized VR experience, which is something I have not tried yet, but for sure I did try out that of the gamepad. So real quick, let's jump over and take a look at how this gamepad thing actually works. So I do have with me a Logitech Wireless Gamepad F710. So let's say, for example, we want to fly through because this is definitely going to be useful for those who want to fly through their project. You know, you want to inspect it for you to get started. You need to go over to the overlay, which you have here, and then you need to click on the gear icon, go over to this section, and then you need to turn on pad. And once you do that, you can now pick up your game controller and navigate and also walk around or simply fly through and inspect your project from an aerial view and depending on the game controller that you have this is definitely going to be an easy breeze for you but the thing i found out is if you also have like an xbox controller this also works so i did test out with an xbox controller seems to be working and i don't currently have that one right now else i'd have shown you how it works and uh, this is pretty pretty cool so you can now use this to fly through your project you can simply inspect and navigate across your project and this gives you that drone like effect i found this very useful for some cases so maybe you want to do a simple fly through and capturing these things by simply using your mouse and your keyboard might not necessarily be the best and you can actually bump this all the way to a full screen mode where you can now simply look around and one thing which i did find out is the level of detail feature that was added in twinmotion 2019 i guess is still here so i think that feature was added in 2019 or 2020 that feature is still here and is looking even way better and for those who would like to test this vr of course the folks at epic games have also said that there's an optimization and also a good improvement to the vr and that i haven't tried out yet something else which makes a lot of sense that the folks at epic games have also implemented is the non-photorealistic sort of rendering that you can now have and as well for those who would like to also have phasing directly in their project during their presentation right now that feature is also available so for you to get this i'm going to put a link in the description that'll take you over to where you can download this and you can start working with it and for those who would like to actually test this out with unreal engine there's also going to be a link in the description that'll take you over to where you can test this thing out by simply using the plugin for unreal engine tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you have maybe some suggestions or probably there's a feature that you're looking for or feature you would like to see in the next coming update of Twinmotion 2021.2, simply put that in the comment section as well. 
and for those who would like to get started with Twinmotion, there is a dedicated playlist on the channel that walks you through how you can get started with Twinmotion from the very basic all the way to an intermediate and also advanced level. There's a couple of Q&As you might be having for Twinmotion and we've actually covered a whole lot of them. So simply take a look at the description and also take a look at the playlist and see if you can get started with that. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.